What's going on everybody? Mike Samich coming at you for RacingDudes.com here to cover you the half a million dollar grade one Santa Anita handicap from Saturday's card closing it out race number 12 the big cap and this is a very interesting running of the Santa Anita handicap. We've got 11 horses headed postward and a really really fun field to break down here. I'm going to talk about six of the 11 because it's that interesting of a race. We're going to start out with your morning line favorite, the five horse defunded, seven to two on the odds board. Bob Baffert Hernandez gets the mount here. This horse ran a good second to Art Collector in the Pegasus World Cup. Wasn't able to get the lead, but able to pass uh, Stiletto Boy down the lane and get into second here. Defunded coming back to the West Coast, where we've had a ton of success. Three for six over the Santa Anita race course. Tried this distance once, ran second, going a mile and a quarter. The distance could be a concern here for Defunded. The other issue, it's a ton of pace signed up. And that is what's going to make it a little tougher for Defunded to be able to get the trip that he wants. Right two is outside. The six horse, Warrant, comes in here at four to one. Out of the Brad Cox barn, Flavian Pratt takes them out. He's ridden Warrant, Warrant twice before, including... This race last year where Warren ends up running second, missing by a head to express train on that day, ran his career best buyer in his only start at this distance over this racetrack. So you got to at least respect Warren in that regard. All the way to the outside, the 11 hole proxy is going to be running for Michael Stidham and John Velasquez. Ran the Pegasus World Cup Invitational, kind of ran on late, was able to pass some tiring horses, ended up fifth there. At, but the race prior to that was able to get his grade one victory in the Clark we a nice buyer in the Stephen F. Foster as well. The post position is going to be an issue, but the setup will not. He will have a ton of pace to chase come Saturday. So Proxy, definitely a player here at 4-1. to one. Stiletto Boy, the four horse, probably going to be your pace in this race, was the pace in that Pegasus World Cup Invitational. Ended up finishing third there. I thought ran very, very well and has the races that are kind of sprinkled in there that could compete with this group. 5-1, to one, though, to me, a little short on the morning line. Let's talk about one more price in here. The one horse, there goes Harvard. Uh, has run 100 buyer at Santa Anita, going this distance. Two for six at Santa Anita, one for two at the distance with a second. So likes the distance, likes the track. Second off a layoff for this five-year-old, second time out in the five-year-old season. You could logically see one of the better races we've seen from him. And that 100 buyer came after a turf race. It's also coming off a turf race here. So there goes Harvard. I think awfully interesting here, again, with the right type of pace setup. Last one we're going to talk about is the three new Grange here for Phil D'Amato. This is a old Baffert horse who flipped over to the D'Amato barn and has run very well since. Able to stalk the pace and swoop late to be able to get the job done last time out in the San Pasquale, the local prep for this, a grade two. You know, new Grange awfully interesting here. If he can improve, this is the second out as a four-year-old. Should be able to compete with this bunch here and is carrying uh, 122 pounds, I think is an advantage over some of these as well. Look, this is a wide open version of the big cap here. Tough to make a top pick, but I'm going to go with the three new Grange. I think he's able to get it done sitting right behind the speed, and he's going to be, he should be in the perfect spot. And again, that second off the layoff, second time out as a four year old, logical improvement angles, carrying a little less weight than some, than some of the top handicapped horses here. I think new Grange has a big shot from that three post. I'm going to put the one. There goes Harvard in second, 12 to one on the morning line in this wide open race. I think he's able to come from off the pace and be able to run up into the exacta. And I'll go with the favorite to fund it in third. Look, he, he hasn't done anything wrong. He's going to sit close to a hot pace. That's my biggest concern with the funded here. Is he going to have enough kick down the lane, getting that last furlong to be able to get to the wire? So I'll put uh, the funded there in third. And what's going to be a very interesting running here of the Santa Anita handicap for me, I'll go three, one, five here in the big cap. Thank you very much for checking out this preview at RacingDudes.com. Make sure you're checking out all the weekend's previews over at RacingDudes.com. And make sure you're checking out Dudes Who Bet Daily. YouTube backslash racing dudes Wednesday through Sunday, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern for all of our best bets around the sports and horse racing world. We'll see you at the track. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. We're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.